From the deep cavernous back of the cave, a steady drip of water seems to echo the beat of their hearts. It calls to them. As descendants of the water clan, Haola and Manuvainui are drawn in their sleep to the sound of a single drop of water, dripping and joining the pool below. They follow the sound to find an oldster sitting in a pool, a calabash of deep, dark water. And as they approach, she chants out to them. As they hear the penetrating chant of Kane, Haola and Manavainui realize who they have come upon in the cave. It is Moana Liha, their grandmother. This is no ordinary cave in which they have found shelter. This cave has brought them to the depth of underground fresh water, the deep aquifer. Moana Liha is there to provide the two young water beings their final and culminating lesson. It is she who will bring together all they have learned of all the water sources, of all the water deities, of all the places where water is found. She teaches them one last chant. E kane kanaloa. E kane kawila nui makehei kala. E kane kawila nui. E kane kapoha kuka. E kane kapoha yo yo. E kane ke anwenu. E kane ke pi. E kane kaua. Mali, eh, Kane, Kapa, Colonai, eh, 